subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel so what is up guys nick here helping you to master your technology is the iphone 6 plus worth it now we're at about july 2018 and this phone has an attractive price point right now as you can find it in a lot of places at under you know 200 bucks around 200 bucks and getting an apple product at that price point with this size of a display is kind of unheard of so it can be attractive options for those of you who are looking for a very cheap device but there are some really big drawbacks with the 6 plus that might make it worth a skip uh, here in 2018 at least at this current point in time let's go ahead and begin with the key specifications i just want to refresh some of these so we can get an idea of what this 2014 phone had to offer 5.5 inch 1920 by 1080 you know this is a full hd panel and it can go sideways so it's like a little mini tablet if we go turn it to the side you can see right there a little bit of lag there we are on ios 12 uh one gigabyte of ram and an apple a8 cpu this has packed in a 2915 milliamp hour battery 8 megapixel 1080p camera this cannot do 4k and the front camera on this device is actually 1.2 megapixel so it's the same one that you could find kind of like in the iphone se and it only does 720 30 so it's not a great front facing camera on this this phone right here so that's a quick refresh of the specifications apple a8 one gig of ram are the real things that really power the show here for the iphone 6 plus so let's talk about the body and the build this is that iphone that is notorious for the ben gate you know the unbox therapy video where it was like bent almost in half and if you actually bend this you can feel it flex a little bit it's not that sturdy feeling like the iphone 6s or the 7 plus or the you know the iphone 8 plus it's now the most current plus edition but at the same time if you're not going to be bending your phone which i don't know why you would it's a pretty nice design it has a pretty uh thin 7.1 millimeter side here and some people might not like these antenna lines but you do have a nice aluminum casing on the rear it is 6000 series aluminum so that's kind of like what you get in budget devices and uh, this phone definitely feels budget here in 2018 it doesn't feel like a flagship phone anymore as to be expected as four years old but 7000 series aluminum doesn't really feel any different it just feels thicker and more sturdy in terms of like the actual feel on the hand it's about the same so uh it's still good you know most budget phones now can do aluminum like the honor series but this is still pretty decent here in terms of the feel in hand it doesn't feel phones do feel but it still has you know aluminum so it doesn't feel like a super cheap phone either in terms of its weight 172 grams so that's actually quite light for this size of a body and the iphones just kind of got a little heavier as the plus series advanced it got a little heavier more durable all the way up to 202 grams now on the 8 plus so this is pretty light for a plus device here so if you like that you will like the light and feel of the iphone 6 plus overall at 200 bucks it feels just like one of those honor 7x phones it feels like a huawei mate se that's how this phone feels and uh, you know those phones don't feel cheap either so it's definitely not at your ultra premium level but the body for 200 bucks is still it's not bad overall i mean at 600 i'd be like no but at 200 it's okay okay so let's discuss that display so again retina display this really hasn't changed much over the years so getting a 6 plus now is not like you're getting any decrease in the display 6s plus has the 1080p display so 401 pixels per inch giving it a much sharper resolution than the smaller iphone 6 so overall i think this display while it isn't quite as well calibrated as some of the newer ones it does it has a more cooler tone if you like a more bluish display you will like the iphone 6 plus's display it's definitely airs a little bluer than like the warmer color iphone 6s plus so definitely a solid display and in terms of this you know we're in 2018 and a lot of phones are still coming out with 1080p panels like the one plus six so it's not behind really at all on display. In terms of display, you're getting a great one here with the 6 Plus still, even if you bought it now. Okay, so let's discuss the software a little bit. I am running iOS 12, the beta edition for developers, and uh, it's running pretty good. Actually, a little bit snappier than iOS 11 in some cases, and I didn't update to beta 2 yet, 
for this device. But overall, what's a good thing is that this phone is four years old and it's still getting a software update this year that's gonna make it even faster. But you know, when you're just on the home screens, you don't really feel too much of a difference from the newer iPhones. It's when you get into these third party apps, the apps just take a while to load with the Apple A8 CPU coupled with one gig of RAM. They just take longer than most of your newer phones and you're gonna be waiting a lot of times if you wanna do some multitasking as well. So iOS, while you do have all the features of the newer iPhones here with a six plus, where you really struggle here is performance. With the one gig of RAM, if we take a look, it doesn't even give you the full one gig of RAM. Let's look in Geekbench. You could see it sometimes hovers around 970, 980 megabytes available, which just is not going to keep up with the demands of 2018 if you are using your phone for more than just a basic phone, which is not enough RAM to keep up with how much we now do on our phones in the year of 2018. Okay, so discussing the battery life, this is an area of the 6 Plus, which is not that disappointing. I think it's not as efficient with its A8 CPU but it's it's pretty decent battery life. You can get through most of the day. I don't think any more a 6 Plus is going to full days like a 8 Plus would, even though it has the bigger battery. The newer software is just not as efficient on this older hardware, meaning that your battery drain is happening more frequently. But if you do have a horrible battery drain, you can take this into Apple and get it replaced. But overall, I think the battery with low power mode on is still sufficient enough on the 6 Plus to get through a full day quite comfortably. So battery life, I don't have too much of a problem with here on a 6 Plus. Okay, so discussing the camera, that is an 8 megapixel camera on the rear it could shoot up to 1080 at 60 fps it can do you know like 720 on the front and if we go into the settings let's take a look at the other features we do get so going down into camera this also doesn't have that newer file format that's going to allow you to save more space on the device but going over here you could see you can do slow-mo at 720 no 1080 here like the newer iphones you can do 1080 at 60 so definitely in the budget territory here when it comes to what you can do with the camera so that's the camera settings when it comes to the iphone 6 plus the camera software itself is very similar to any other newer iphone we don't need to discuss that much but instead of us talking about the camera let's just take a look at some of the samples and you could judge for yourself if you think it's still worthy of your money in 2018. Discussing the audio, it's not the loudest audio you're gonna get on a phone, and it's a mono speaker, so you can easily cover it up there. And overall, it doesn't get very loud. They're rather tinny, actually, here in comparison to the upgraded iPhones. So, not a great audio experience, but unlike some of the newer iPhones, you do have one great thing, and that is a headphone jack. So you can plug in millions of different iPhone or headphones to this iPhone. So that kind of makes up for the lack of great external speakers. Discussing the call quality, it hasn't been fantastic for me in my use case, mostly due to having a weaker speaker. I like to do speakerphone calls and I can't hear people that well with this phone. Also, the earpiece is not quite as crisp as like an 8 Plus, for example. It shouldn't be, I mean, it should be improved. But this phone, if you were to make a phone call on a newer iPhone and then take a phone call on this one, it's drastically improved. But I'm not saying this phone can't make a phone call. And one thing that's been really good about this phone is the reception. So good reception. Overall, I think it's average phone call quality, just not great. But average phone call quality that will get the job done. So in conclusion, is the iPhone 6 Plus worth it here, worth your time to purchase here in late 2018? And my answer is no. And the reason why is because there are phones in this price range that have succeeded this phone are even better, like the Huawei Mate SE, for example, around the same price point, four gigs of RAM, same display like 1080p, and it has a faster processor than this phone that's gonna perform better. Now, if you want a cheap iPhone that's even faster than this phone, the iPhone SE is cheaper than this in most regards, especially if you get it on prepaid carriers, 
It's even faster than this device and has 4K recording capabilities. It's mostly the performance that upsets me here with the iPhone 6 Plus, but it doesn't really upset me in that it's an older phone, so to expect it to be slow. But if you're trying to buy one, I just can't sit up here and be dishonest and tell you this is worth it because you're gonna get a phone that I really feel is gonna aggravate more people than make people happy. Anyway, will you buy an iPhone 6 Plus right now? Are you already doing it? Do you have, have you given it away? Have you upgraded? Are you like, no way, never again with the 6 Plus? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section of this video. If you found this video helpful, enjoyable, entertaining, and for me, do me a favor, click that like button for me. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Be sure to be well and